Okay, okay. I already made Minecraft in Minecraft, so how hard could it possibly be to add functional redstone to it? Well, it's quite easy actually. First I designed the 3D models for the redstone components. I added dust, torches, repeaters, levers, and lamps. So now I just need to make them work. So the current Minecraft in Minecraft program is really simple. First we draw the 3D world made of cubes. Then we handle the game logic, which is player movement and placing or breaking blocks. And that is repeated again and again to run the game. To add redstone to this, a couple things need to be added. First we update the redstone components, which means updating everything except for redstone dust. Then we update the redstone dust, and the rest of the program is exactly the same as before. The reason the dust has to be updated separately is to make sure the update order does not cause issues. So the goal of all this is to do one redstone tick per frame of the game, and since it is designed to be played at 6 frames per second, it will be 6 redstone ticks per second which should be more than enough for some pretty cool things, if I do say so myself. And with that, we now compile and run the code on Iris itself.
Yeah! Now I have solved redstone. And... No!